Hey everyone, how's it going? Just wanted to do a quick little video on uh, what would actually be considered a tactical light and what will will be best for you if you actually want to carry it for a tactical light, uh, as in self-defense, a quick burst to someone's face to let you get away real quick. Um, there are flashlights that have the, the tail switch on it, and not all of them have the turbo function. They can have the memory function, and from the tail switch, you can actually make it turbo. Um, some of them actually don't have a tail switch at all. But if you want an instant burst, uh, you must have the tail switch for turbo with one press of the button or for it to be strobe. There are flashlights that have, like I said, um, the tail switch, but it can either be set on the memory of the last low, medium, high, whatever it may be. So for the best tactical and self-defense, if you want to give a quick burst to someone's face and you want to get away, most definitely get one that has the turbo function in the back um, and not just pick one. If you see it has a tail switch, that doesn't always guarantee that it's going to be uh, a good fit for you because they don't all do turbo mode just by pressing it one time. Now, there are some that will stay on high, which is still going to be pretty effective um, to get away from somebody, you know, shining it in their eye really quick um, or in their face really quick to get away. They are still really effective, but... For the most part, the 100% most effective will be turbo, which is the absolute brightest mode that you can get on any of the flashlights with the tail switch. So if you're going to pick one, make sure it's got the turbo and or strobe. Some of them have the two switches. Um, I don't have any of, them, any of them here with me right now, but they have a switch. Uh, a button, I'm sorry, here, and then there'll be one on top. One will be for strobe, and one will be for turbo. So that's, uh, again, if you want the best, you know, because that's what you're going to carry it for, definitely make sure the rear tactical switch has, it is the turbo mode. Also, uh, a lot of people say, you know, you have to have the knurled front on it, and it's got to have a, a jagged edge. Um, quite honestly, there is not enough of a point on this, even if it was super, super sharp and it was a, a little bit longer, sure, it's going to be effective and it's going to hurt like hell. But the most effective is to put the turbo mode straight to their face and get the hell out of there as quick as you can. So don't necessarily stick with one that has the knurled front on it. A lot of people will say, you know, make sure it's got the knurled front and it's got the pointy edge. That doesn't matter don't don't just stick to that it could be a personal preference you may want that you might feel a little more safe you may think it may be more effective and it, it might be a little more effective but from from uh personal experience and uh my my line of work that i used to be in um which we'll discuss more further on down the road uh it's not as effective as you may think it is and or you want it to be so just keep all those in mind and, uh, yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. Just going to be a quick little short video. I thought I'd, thought I'd make it and put that out there for you guys. I, I get a lot of questions about that. You know, which one's the best, which one should you stay away from? Should I get an Olight? Should I get a through night? Should I get which one? Um, it's a personal preference. If you want to spend a certain amount of money, uh, there are, are the through nights you can oftentimes find them. They are uh, oftentimes on sale on Amazon or through their website. Um, a lot of people stay away from Olight because they're, you know, they're they're an upper brand, more expensive brand. But uh, they they have a lot of sales a lot of times on their websites, and uh, it's for a certain amount of time, so you kind of have to hit and miss. But if you sign up on their website and put your email in, you'll be notified when they do. No, I'm not affiliated. I have no, you know, I don't get anything from them by saying that. It's just uh, throwing it out there to, to help somebody if they needed something. Um, but yeah, it's just a personal preference, how much money you want to spend, uh, the size of it. This light, for instance, is the 
through night archer pro this one has a thousand lumens in it um the size difference now this one is the wuben l50 this one has 1200 um this one is way smaller if you want to carry this in your pocket and a purse whatever it has just as bright of a turbo mode than this large one does and it's much easier to carry um, and it's got the dual direction clip, so you can carry it either way. And yeah, again, it's just personal preference on what you want to spend, which brand, if you're brand specific, then go with that. But that's it for now. Just wanted to throw it out there and, and answer a few questions you guys had for me. And again, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. A uh, quick reminder that when I hit my 100 subscriber mark, I will be doing a flashlight giveaway for free. Just got to make sure you are in the United States. Sorry if you're not, but uh, just got to make sure you're in the United States. And also, after the 100 subscriber mark, each 100th subscriber after that, I will also be doing a giveaway each and every one. So if I get 100 subscribers and I get 200 next subscribers in a week, Two weeks, three days, I'll be doing another giveaway. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I get on so you guys don't miss that opportunity. All right, that'll be it for now, guys. And we will talk to you again shortly. Hope everyone has a great day. Take care.